Thousands of volunteers took time out of their holiday to make sure everyone has a home cooked meal and feels loved on this Thanksgiving Day. On the corner of 35th and Center, under this tent, Turkey. preparations were underway for a community dinner where all were welcomed. We're not here to judge, condemn, or any of that. So we don't care who you are. You're welcome to come get a free plate. This is the second year of the Breaking Bread Community Feast. Organizer Farina Brooks says last year they fed over 100 people, and this year they expect to feed even more. A lot of us, we are fortunate because we have family we can sit down with. We can be inside of a home. Uh, we have all of that, but there's a lot of people that don't have that. So this is a way to show some light on center to let people know that, you know what, we care. People lined up for the main course and all types of desserts. Who can cut the pecan? She can. They were even given essential winter items to keep warm. Some people don't have no food to eat, so it's a blessing. We are maybe just three checks away. You know, you never know what's going to happen, and it's about giving back, giving back to individuals, and you know, it just warms my heart. We're just here to give. We're blessed to be a blessing. Leonard Basemore has struggled with homelessness and says this meal means tonight he can sleep with a full stomach. I've not eaten in two days, though, believe it or not, you know, and I am, a, I am extremely appreciative you know, by these people of kindness. He says today he received more than just a good home-cooked dinner. It makes us feel like, I mean, you know, that we are wanted and, and loved. And for that, he is thankful. We are extremely grateful, you know, for the kindness of, you know, total strangers. Reporting Milwaukee, Adriana Mendez, today's TMJ4.